This empty lot at the center of a neighborhood controversy. Residents are petitioning to stop the planned construction of a convenience store and gas station. The Lavaca neighborhood says preservation and safety are not negotiable. Eyewitness News anchor Sharon Coe shares their fight. No 7-Eleven in historic Lavaca. And I see my neighbors supporting me. Signs on residents' yards on Florida and Carolina streets spell out the message clear. 7-Eleven would add a lot of problems to our neighborhood. Hilda Juarez would have the front row view. I'm going to get to look at the dumpsters. Her home on Florida Street would be right across the proposed 7-Eleven and gas station. Juarez says one of the main concerns, safety and an increase in traffic. Ball team, the track team runs through here. The last thing I want to see is something happen to one of those kids because one of those trucks is coming through. And Juarez says coming out of this new construction, the loss of the neighborhood's historic charm. La Vaca is historical. Uh, we're adjacent to King Williams, uh, so homes that are, were built before the 1900s. The Lavaca Neighborhood Association says the owner of this empty lot develops fast food restaurants and 7-Eleven stores. I think they're probably a little greedy and seeing that there's traffic coming off of 37. Residents have signed a petition. However, the lot is zoned for commercial use. There's not much residents can do, not unless the owner backs out. Southtown has been growing into something beautiful and they just want a piece of it, um, but it has no place for, us, for it in Lavaca. Sharon Co. Ken's 5 Eyewitness News. Residents contacted their councilman, Roberto Trevino, who's met with the association. He said in a statement he's been in contact with the property owner to ensure the community's voices are heard. Ken's 5 reached out to the current property owner. So far, we have not heard back.